Hi, this is Mark Ryan, the Marketing Manager with the Shepherd Keller Company. Today I'm going to be talking about some of our new products that we see as pushing the edge of the durable color envelope. The Shepherd Color Company specializes in the manufacture of complex inorganic colored pigments. These are highly durable, bright colors for high demanding engineered applications. We're based in Cincinnati, Ohio. We are privately held by the Shepherd family. This is John Shepherd and his son, Tom Shepherd, and our current COO, Bob Lane. We were established in 1916, and we've been making these specialized CICP pigments since the 1930s. Currently, we're investing in the future, and especially in our R&D capability. And the two new products I'm going to be talking about today are come from that development group. We are also expanding our production methods and capabilities in our uh, plant in Cincinnati to a true world scale facility. And we also have distribution and support people around the world uh, to support both local and global sale, scale uh, customers. Uh, we like to say that because of the high durability aspects of our pigments that we work for long term impact and that we make lasting color for a demanding world. The two new pigments that I'm going to be talking about today are the NTP yellow or the niobium tin pyrochlor yellow and or the RTZ and the rutile tin zinc orange. Uh, the NTP yellow is a brand new patented chemistry that is being just introduced right now. It is a bright red shade yellow color uh, with excellent opacity and high chromaticity. It's extremely inert and high temperature stable. The RTZ orange is an improvement on current RTZs in the marketplace. It also has excellent opacity and it has an excellent red tone. It uh, is engineered for extreme inertness and it works as a very good color synergist when mixed with other pigments. And it also is high temperature stable. We see both of these pigments working well together and we find them as uh, usable in a wide range of coatings, plastics, paints, plasters, putts, stucco, ceramics, and other demanding applications. This is a plot of color space. On the horizontal axis, we have what we call the hue angle. So redder colors will be over on the right-hand side. And as we move towards the left, it will be greener colors. On the vertical axis, we have chromaticity, so duller Less bright colors will be towards the bottom of the plot, and more chromatic colors will be at the top of the plot. As you can see here, we have a number of different pigment chemistries uh, arrayed out on this plot. Uh, these are the typical titanate inorganic pigments that are used uh, in the high durability coatings uh, right now. And then also the Business Vanadate bright green shade uh, yellows. Um, we then have the wide range of organic pigments, all the way from the reds, as we have down here, all the way towards the bright green shade yellows. So basically, as we move across this plot, we go from the reds all the way uh, to the green shade yellows. Kind of in the middle of this area is the pigment yellow 34s, or the lead chromates or middle chrome colors, which are based on deprecated metals and the uh, regulations and the marketplace are moving away from incorporation of these in paints and plastics and coatings. So our two new products kind of fall in between these current bright organic that are chromatic and the inorganic colors that are more durable. What they do is they provide a bridge between the bright colors and the durability. So the NTP yellow is very close to that lead chromate that is being uh, phased out in many formulations. And then the RTZ orange has a, has a bright red shade, very, similar, very close to some of the organic shades, but with the durability of the inorganic colorants. Where the RTZ orange works very well is as a modifier for other pigments. Currently, if you have something like a, a green shade business vanity, which is a very popular inorganic colorant, if you want to stay in durable colored pigments, and but you want to shift it to a more common redder shade, you can use something like a red iron oxide. And blends of business vanadate and red iron oxide are described by this line here. Uh, 
As you can see, the colors are shifting from the green shade and they're going redder and redder, but we're losing a lot of chromaticity because the red iron oxide is not a very bright, clean color. When we take the RTZ orange and blend it with the Business Vanadate, we get a line of colors described by this line. As you can see, these colors are higher in chromaticity, so they're brighter and cleaner than the shades made with the Business Vanadate and the red iron oxide mixtures. So the Business Vanadate with the RTZ produces brighter, cleaner shades of red shade yellow than were previously attainable in all inorganic systems. Those number of colors that you can hit are improved even more if we include the NTP yellow in the mix. This line here describes blends of the Business Vanadate with the NTP yellow, and then the NTP yellow with the RTZ orange along this line. So while this used to be the frontier of the range of durable colors that are all inorganic based, now this area here underneath the curve represents the new colors that can be obtained by using all inorganic colored pigments. This is a wide swath of very popular colors with the RAL 1000 series being included in here. And these are colors that before could only be obtained by mixtures of inorganic and organic pigments and now can be matched with all durable inorganic pigments. This line of color along the top edge here can be seen in these panels that we've prepared here. From the Business Vanate to the blends with the NTP yellow, and then the NTP yellow blended with the orange. So this is now the frontier of durable color. Thank you for joining us for this short presentation. I hope you've learned a lot about our new RTZ yellow and RTZ orange and NTP yellow. Uh, we consider them to be highly engineered pigments that are pushing the edge of the durable color envelope. And we see them especially usable in things like engineering polymers, high durability thin films, corporate colors, and signage applications where that bright clean colors are so important for branding. If you need any more information, please join us at our website at www.shepherdcolor.com. Thank you very much.